So now we're going to do an envelope fold on the Portsmouth toe. So you've already sewn the base on and you've sewn the hem. And these, this is the right side of the fabric, the side that's going to show. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold it so it's right sides together with the top of the tote lined up up here. So we're lining up the top of the tote here. So we lined those up. Then we're going to turn this and we're going to stick a pin in perpendicular to the seam up here. with the pointy part of the pin towards the raw edge. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna line up the top of the base. So with here, it's the black. Okay, so that's lined up. And then I'm gonna stick a pin in right above the base. So this pin position is really particular. Don't pin through all the layers of the base. Just pin through these two layers of the bag here. Okay, right above it. So we have pins in this side here, but we need to put pins in this side here. And um, a rule of thumb with sewing is your pins should be face up when you're sewing. Another rule of thumb with sewing is you should sew with the bulk of your work to the left of your machine, which means that this will be face up when you're sewing this edge, but this side will be face up when you're sewing this edge. So go ahead and flip your bag around and stick your pins in the two places just like on the other side. So I'm gonna rotate this because it's easier to pin that way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and match up the tops of my bag here and stick a pin in perpendicular to the seam. And then I'm gonna come over here and match up the tops of my base and stick a pin in right above the base there, okay? So I have my pins in the correct places to do the envelope fold. We're gonna grab inside the bag. And then we're gonna grab the bottom center point here. And then what we're doing is we're actually pivoting the bag right up here at the transition between the base and the main part of the bag. And we're taking our middle bottom center points and we are matching that up to the tops of the base layer. Okay, so this center point here, which is a slit in my project, is matching up with the fold there at the top of the base, okay? Then I'm gonna take this whole part here and I'm gonna pivot it down at the center point and fold it down, just like that, okay? So that's how I'm creating the fold for the envelope base. So. If you fold this down and the, your two folds here aren't quite matching up, then you can go ahead and adjust that a little bit until you get them to match up like that. And the same on your other side. So I'm just gonna push that up a little, fold that down and then that's matching up. Then I'm gonna take my craft clips here and I'm gonna stick a couple clips in on this side. And then I can flip this over and stick a couple in from this side. Okay, and so now I'm ready to sew my half inch seam allowances for my main side seams. For those of you that are really new to sewing, a great tip is to actually draw a stitching line for your half inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna take a quilting ruler here and then take my Chaco pen liner here. And I'm actually gonna cover up my bag, my side seam, with a half an inch of the ruler. And I'm gonna draw a line on that half inch. And that's gonna actually be my half inch seam allowance stitch line. Um, so that's a really great trick for beginner sewers. Um, of course, remember you need to backstitch up here and backstitch down here. So my line is on the same side as my pins. So I'm gonna flip and draw the line on this side. Okay. All right, and now I'm ready to sew my side seams. I can stick a couple of clips in here and we're good to go. All right.